Hey, what's going on guys? I know it's been a long time. I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, with school starting and, you know, the baby starting school at home, it's been kind of crazy. But I want to get back to giving you guys some videos. So, what you're looking at here is a beautiful Van Lee Beacon, a division of Tiffin. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the 42 RDB rear living room RV. This is beautiful. Now they're lending this to us for about six months so that we can do a very thorough review on basically just using it and you know just kind of giving you guys feedback positives negatives you know anything that we find on here we're going to let you guys know I'm gonna focus on the inside so let's get right to the inside if you want to take a look at the outside you can take a look at my husband's video he did a very thorough uh, video of the outside of this unit. So let's go ahead and go inside So this is very nice So as soon as you walk in you're going to see your main control panel right here. So it's a very techie uh, It's pretty busy, but it is very easy to work. You can see the buttons here It'll easily tell you if it's the light that you're accessing the temperature the slides fan I mean it's I like it it's very nice very easy to work as you move to the left you're going to walk into your kitchen very beautiful and it looks very luxurious so you have all these very nice light and dark tones throughout a lot of beautiful lighting and it does have some LED accent lighting I just turned it off a little while ago but I can turn it on just so that you can see and there we go so it has a lot of accent lighting throughout the whole RV, even in the bedroom. Over on your right, you're gonna have your coffee counter right here. So we're going to put our Keurig up here and our other little accessories, lots of cabinets. Then down here below, you would think that this is a cabinet, but it's actually the uh, where all of your fuses go. But I like that they covered it up with a nice door. So you're not seeing just this box here or just a wall there with anything. This is very nicely covered with this cabinet door. Very nice deep drawers um, and they're self-closing drawers. So very, very nice. I mean, this is luxury right here. Very nice. You have glass in front of your cabinets. It has magnetic latches. And they're very nice and deep here, so you've got plenty of space for your storage. I really like the backsplash here. It almost looks like bamboo. Beautiful colors. And this is actually real tile here, so this is not plastic, it's real tile, so that's even more of a great perk here. So here we have the pantry area, so you've got some drawers here. It actually has motion detector lighting, so as soon as you open it and you reach in, the lights will turn on, so that's a really cool feature. So you're not having to, you know, fiddle around in the dark or right now, I don't have to have the camera light to show you how deep and how nice these cabinets are. So that is a pretty neat feature there. And here we have a full size residential refrigerator and the outside of it has decorative wood trimming. It looks very beautiful. Some people may choose to not have the wood trimming on it. Some people may prefer just to have the stainless steel look. That looks beautiful too. So either way, I like either way really. So if you don't get it with the wood paneling, you will be able to open this cabinet here a little bit further than what it goes. As we move over to the left, you're going to see this beautiful style residential stove. And it does have a four burner cooktop. It is a little more narrow than your you know, traditional stove at home, but it is beautiful. And this does have a roomy oven in here, so I know I can make a turkey in here in November on one of our little trips, so I really like this. This is nice. Now in this cabinet here, it's fairly large, so I don't know what we, we would normally want to put in here, but I'm sure I can figure something out in here for storage. But it is nice and roomy, so I really like that. Now moving up here to the cabinets, you've got your nice deep spice cabinets. And then over to your left, you have a convection microwave, full size. So I really like this one because it is a full size and it's also stainless steel. And it does have a solid surface countertop. So they're really nice and spacious. So I really like the space that you get here. We do have a tile backsplash back here. And that is real tile, like I mentioned earlier. To the left of the stove, you have four more drawers. 
And then you have another cabinet up here on the top. So you have a lot of space, a lot of counter space. I love, love, love the counter space. Plenty of space to cook. Over to the left, you have a lot more cabinets and another counter space here. So I don't know. I don't know. I kind of would like maybe the coffee machine over here on this side or on the other side. So either way, lots of counter space, nice deep cabinets in here. So you have some more down here on the bottom. The only thing on this is that I wish that it had a tall cabinet so that I can put my brooms, my vacuums, something a little taller. So I would think maybe here on this side right here, maybe just make this all one tall one. So you can put all your tall accessories in there as far as your mops, your brooms. But other than that, it's beautiful. Over to the left, it comes equipped with a really nice wine cooler here. So that's pretty nifty. Then down here on the bottom, you have three more drawers. So plenty of cabinet and storage space. You're not going to lack any space at all in here. Over on the left, we have the island. So it's stainless steel and very nice and deep. The counter space also very nice. The fixtures are real stainless steel, not plastic. So that is a big plus for me. Then you have more cabinets here in the front of it. And I would put my trash can down here and some cleaners. So that is a perfect spot for it. Then you have three more drawers right here. So I really love the space and you have, I like that you have an outlet right here so you can plug in maybe a mixer or if you're making some steam rice, you don't have to put it on one of your other mm -hmm. counters. Then you have your dining area over here. So you have two full chairs here and then you have your two folding chairs. So I have all the day night roller shades down. I really like that it has these on the windows because I'm able to still look outside and block out the heat. Beautiful, beautiful trim. And it's all very well decorated with lighting and the crown molding throughout is just beautiful. My preference is I like a little hanging light right here, maybe like a little tiny small one in there just to kind of do, give the dining table more decorative, but that looks beautiful too. So coming up here to the living room, you're able to turn on the lights as you step up. So as we're coming up the stairs, you're entering this beautiful big living room. Right here to my right are your recliners here. So they're reclined very nicely very comfortable and it has your two cup holders and as you look back you can see the kitchen you got some cabinet tree up here on the top then you have your love seat here so you're going to have two love seat sofas so they're a little bit bigger than your normal love seat very nice very comfortable the colors are very very nice You have lots of windows. And like I said, the day night roller shades do an amazing job on blocking out the heat. And you still can look outside. You don't feel like you're trapped inside because you have those rollers down. And it does come with your televator right here. To me, it really doesn't matter if it's a televator or not, um, but it's nice that you can keep it out of the way, but you still can't put anything in front of it because when you're going to open it and watch TV, you're going to have to move everything out of the way. So either way is good. Lots of counter space up there on the top, and I really like the accent lighting over by the wall. That looks really pretty. Lots of crown molding throughout. And then you also have some more cabinet space in here. So nice, deep cabinet space. Plenty of storage, so you're not going to be lacking any storage in here. But the uh, outlet right here in the corner, it does drop down, so you don't always have to have it up. This cabinet as well is just as deep. I 
nice feature that it has. It's really nice. It, it feels like leather. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a soft feel to it. Well, the ceiling as well is soft. Now, I can't really reach up there to touch it, but it is a soft uh, touch to it. So come in. It is a soft touch as well. And this here controls the accent lighting, the living room lights, and pretty much just the lighting around here. So as soon as you touch a button, it will turn on. I really wish that it was a backlit, just a, maybe a soft glow, just so I know what I'm going to be pressing first. But you have to ba basically press a button in order for the backlight to turn on. There's an outlet right here. And the really cool thing about these recliners here is that it has a charging station right there. So I'm going to recline one of these so you can see how far they recline. You're basically laying down and it's perfect. So I'm going to do one just so you can see how far they recline. Sit right in front of the television that comes out from there. So there is your televator. So that is beautiful. So you can just imagine you have your favorite movie on, you've got your fireplace on, you're relaxing, dim the lights down, and you're relaxing on that nice recliner right there. That's me right there with a nice throw blanket. Yeah, I'm not getting up. I always throw down a an area rug because my daughter, she's usually playing around me, and that way the floor is not so hard or cold for her. But and it also adds a nice touch to decorate. So I'm going to walk over to the bedroom and the bathroom. So here on the bedroom door, it has an actual door. So it's not a sliding door. It has a magnetic attachment there. So your door won't be slamming up against the door and it won't be closing on you. So it just clicks really easy there. You have your bathroom in here. I really like that it has this little bidet. I guess you can say, right? Um, I really love that. And it's just attached there and it's got a little hook there. That is awesome. So you have two vents in here and then you have the lighting. And of course you have your fan up here. And you have your cabinetry here. So I'm going to open this and see. And a cornered medicine cabinet. Then you have a lot of counter space, so I really like this. And I like the sink here, so this is actual porcelain. This is actual stainless steel. So you've got a lot of cabinets here on the bottom. They're a little small, but it does give you a lot of space to put toiletries, towels, whatever it is that you need to put in here. And you got a lot of space under the sink as well, so it's pretty deep. So the door actually opens, you know, to each other. Either door is going to reach the access in there. One of the things that I like about this as well is I really love this seating bench right here. You can lift it if you're not using it, or you can put it down, get it out of the way. I prefer this. My husband's a little bit worried as far as how much weight we can put on it, but I think that they wouldn't put, I don't think that they would put it on there if it can't sustain weight. Now, of course, I'm sure it has a limit, but I think it's going to be pretty sturdy. So that's one of my, I really like this. One of my favorite features of here, of this. And then you've got all of your fixtures here. So this is pretty tall, so it's probably a good six, three maybe. So I think some pretty tall people can fit in there comfortably. Lots of space. And it is an actual porcelain toilet as well. Over to the right. Now this stand here is for your CPAC machines. And you can move this around. And they actually uh, finished this off so it matches your whole RV in here. So it's really nice finish. You can see the real nice finish on that. So I told my husband, I said, I can use that for just about anything. So it would actually go over to the left of the bed or whichever side that you'll be using it on. I told my husband I really like that so I can put 
my fan or whatever it is that I need to put on there, I will use that. Not for a CPAC machine, but I will be using it. And this is a king size bed. Now this mattress is not your basic mattress. This one is an actual bamboo memory foam. So that's pretty awesome that it comes with that. Um, we put a cover, we always put a cover just in case a baby spills something on the bed, but it does come with a bamboo mattress. So I think that's pretty neat. Very, very comfortable. So I don't think we're going to need to be putting any extra padding on there. So it is a king size bed, plenty of space to walk around here in front. And you have a lot of drawers here and they pull out and they're also the slope. And you have your television set here and you have a window right here. So I really like that. It has a nice big window. You have some more drawers. You have a little area here for shoes or whatnot. And here you have the best thing ever, washer and dryer. I like this. And then over to the left, you have your closet here. And it does have mirrors on both doors. So I'll just kind of pan around just so you can take a look at it. Beautiful trim throughout, LED lighting. Very, very nice. They really put a lot of thought into this RV. I almost forget that it's an RV. It's so nice. Okay, so and then the closet now here, lots of closet space in here. And it also has motion sensor lighting in here also. So it has a little little area in here for shoes. And then down here below, there's also some more space. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I wish that this RV would have had maybe a tall cabinet so we can put things like your Swiffers, your broom. So what I did was I just kind of laid it here in this little nifty space back here. So luckily, that space was there. And then you have some space up here on top of the cabinet also. And like I said, this is motion sensor lighting. So as soon as you step in here or you put your arm in, it will set the lights off. It has some outlets here on the side of the bed so that you could charge your phone. So I thought that was pretty neat. So you don't have wires all over. And there is an outlet anyway down on that side. And I believe it also has the same over on this side. Those little plugs right there, if you're wondering what those are, those are like little pest control little devices. Helps to deter any kind of little insects or anything that might be bothering you. Here in the bedroom, you also have a control panel here as well. So this one, you can see I had to tap it to turn on the lights. It's bedroom, the master light. So this one will turn off all of the lights throughout the RV or it'll turn them off either or. It also has to the bed slide to extend it or to retract it. And then it has the reading lighting here. So very cozy. But I really hope that you liked this video on us uh, showing you this beacon. It's beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to be doing some more videos on it just to kind of let you know how it feels to be in it, what we like about it, what we don't what we wish we could change on it, but we will be bringing out some more videos to you here soon. If you can, please subscribe and I will be seeing you guys soon. Bye.